Hello, Mr. Rabbit. That's an unusual way to cut roses. Well, we're cutting corners around here, Alice. Oh, I see. Ah! Oh, Your Majesty, that new hat, it took my breath away. Yes, Your Highness. It is rather unusual. It isn't a new hat. It's a noggin, hoggin. Oh, never mind. Just think of it as a new hat. Oh, oh, are you wearing it to the show tonight? I'm not even going tonight unless you remember where you put my tickets. Oh. <laughs> Me? I thought you had them. I did. But this noggin thing helped me to remember that I gave them to you. Oh, so you did. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, my. Oh, what have I done with them? Oh, your noggin needs jockin. Put this on. Oh, Woo. Professor Memory said once you wear it, you remember everything. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty, but I don't really think this is me. I oh, the rabbit, color. I don't care if you wear it. Just as long as you remember where you put my tickets. Oh. And soon. Oh. That is one wild contraption. Well, wild, yes. Hmm. Wild? That's it. My favorite book. Collect Call of the Wild. I put the tickets in it for safekeeping. So all you have to do is get the book. That's simple enough. Yes, that's not so simple. By now it's vanished into thin air. Oh, don't be silly. Books can't vanish into thin air. No, but the Cheshire Cat can. And he borrowed my book. Crystal, have you seen the Cheshire Cat lately? He comes and goes, he certainly does. Cat! Oh, Cat! Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What do you want, Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie? Oh, there you are. What did you do with the book I loaned you? That book? What a dog of a story. Certainly not my idea of great literature. <laughs> What's your idea of great literature? Puss in Boots? <laughs> ah, now there's a classic. Everyone's a critic. So where did you put the book? Relax, I'll tell you. I... I... Oh, I don't remember. Oh! Can't anybody remember anything in Wonderland? We can. We remember everything we've ever learned. Everything? Try us. All right. Oh, Crystal, help me out. Please show the Tweedles pictures of ten different dinosaurs and see if they can name them. <laughs> Piece of cake. Apatosaurus. Allosaurus. Seismosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, Stegosaurus, <laughs> Triceratops, Protoceratops, Pterodactyl, uh, Diplodocus, and Iguanodon. <laughs> <laughs> Ten lucky guesses. That's amazing. How do you do it? We rock our brains. Hmm, don't you mean rack your brains? No, when we say rock, we mean rock. You're learning, it's to get your mind churning. Put the words to a rhythm, then there's no way to forget them. Rock your brain, that's how to memorize a list of information of any size. You gotta rock your brain to get your memory flowing. Just rock your brain. For example, Stegosaurus and Allosaurus were dinosaurs that came before us. Do you remember a pterodactyl feature? Yes, it was a big and hungry creature. Rock your brain, it's fun to memorize. It's fun to give your brain some exercise. Rock your brain to get your ideas going. You rock your brain. There's no stopping the mind from me popping. When in a situation that calls for information, once you get your feet moving, your memory will be improving. 
it's easy to remember. Once you get your brain hip hopping, just rock, rock, rock your brain. Rock your brain, Baba Dooba. Hey. Now I remember who I loaned the book to. You do? Remember that part in the song about big hungry creatures? Yes. You mean you loaned my book to a dinosaur? No. A big hungry creature here in Wonderland. Hmm. Let's see. The caterpillar. So you see, Mr. Caterpillar. I remembered I was supposed to study, but I just couldn't remember what it was I was supposed to study. Perhaps I can be of some help. As you know, a caterpillar never forgets. A caterpillar? But I was always taught that an elephant never forgets. That's because we caterpillars hate to brag. So you have a good memory? The best, thanks to my grandfather. Your grandfather? He was the best pupa in his class. In fact, he was the only one who could spell arithmetic. Boy, that's a hard word. How did he remember how to spell it? He used ice cream. Ice cream? A rat in the house might Eat the ice cream. I see. If you take the first letter in each word and put them together, it spells arithmetic. A R I T H M E T I C. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. But I have a very pressing problem. Sorry. I don't do ironing. No, not that kind of pressing. I mean pressing, as in important, because I... Oh, carrot juice. I forgot what I was going to say. What a coincidence. Your forgetfulness just reminded me of a story. Once there was a young witch named Frida. She was a bewitching witch, but also a very forgetful witch. Whenever she tried to cook up a witch's brew, she forgot the recipe. Whenever she went out flying on her broomstick, she forgot to fill it up with flying dust. But worst of all, whenever she tried to cast a spell, like turning a frog into a prince, she forgot the right words. Frida had to do something about her forgetfulness. She entered an all-ghoul school to get some more witch training. Frida studied harder than anyone. And eventually all her hard work paid off. Frida ended up graduating at the top of her class. From then on, Frida never forgot how to cast her spells, which eventually led to a shortage of frogs, but that's another story. Now I remember what I wanted to ask you. That cat said he loaned you my book, The Collect Call of the Wild. That rings a bell. Good. Can you remember what you did with it? Of course I can, because Harry apes read everything. You handed my book over to Harry Apes? Oh, that this is just like using ice cream, isn't it, Mr. Caterpillar? You've got it, Alice. Harry Apes? Ice cream? Oh, dear, now I'm really confused. Don't you see, Mr. Rabbit? When you put together the first letter in each word of Harry Apes Read Everything, it spells hair. Mr. Caterpillar gave your book to Mr. Hare. 